What is up guys, welcome back to some more Pokemon in Minecraft on the server, the Pokefine server, IP down below if you want to check it out, try it out yourself, this is my third episode on here now, and it's my first solo episode, so I'm actually quite looking forward to this, we are in, I think it's Find a Tree Village, um, no, Four Tree, not Find a Tree, Four Tree Village today, this is where we left off, and uh, me and Lachlan have got our little rivalry going on, uh, but we're both doing solo episodes today to kind of work on our own type of stuff. And, you know, I want to have some time where it's just me and you guys chilling here. When this actually goes live, I'm currently in uh, Miami partying it up at the Ultra Music Festival, but uh, you can, you know, hop on the server, it's up and running. Um, IP it down below. So, like I said, I just get to talk with you guys. Also, I can look up... A lot of different things, you know, I can take a pause, I can look up different moves, different natures, all that sort of stuff. Try and build my squad a bit stronger to make myself hopefully more likely to beat out Larkland in our little rivalry, which I'm currently 2-1 uh, in the lead on. The battle we had at the end of the last episode was mental. So that is that. Realistically, what should I be doing? I mean, looking for new Pokemon is definitely going to be up there. Just training in general is going to be a good thing like that. Butterfree would be great to take on. So, this guy is a good nature. This Squirtle's going to be a great Blastoise when it levels up. This uh, this guy, actually, again, really good as well. Special attack boosters, that's going to be awesome. Um, the Pidgey, I think you want normal attack to be boosted on it. So, that's not the greater one. Then on Lickitung, I don't know if I'm really going to keep him. I just kind of caught him for the sake of catching him. That's really awesome to have a speed boosted um, Lapras. And the defense, you know, not terrible to lose. Then on Clefairy, not too sure about Clefairy if we're going to keep it in the team, but one, two, and three definitely ready to go in this game. So, you know, let's, uh, what should we kill this with? Um, you know, let's just send out the Bulbasaur and uh, see if he can take, take this on. He should be able to. I think probably just Tackle is going to be the way to go. It's confusion. I think it's actually super effective. Is it super effective? Yeah, it is. But, in fact, no, I don't think Bulbasaur can do it. I've uh, I've made an error here. You know, I should switch and squirrel. Hey, get some easy XP. I'm pretty sure I did that last episode. You'd think I'd learn things, but apparently I do not. But uh, yeah, I want to look up actually. Do I actually want a Pidgey? I don't know. I might just see what I find, capture it, and then see if it's the right kind of nature for what we're looking for. Um, that's what I've decided I'm going to do. Oh my goodness, this Butterfree is going huge, but I can ask can do a lot. No, actually, this Butterfree is not messing around. Uh oh. The squirtle, the squirtle's nearly dead there, so we're going to have to bring out Lapras. In fact, I should have brought Lapras out in the first place. The squirtle's nearly got the kill as well. Um, he doesn't have anything that's going to make him attack quicker, does it? Nope. You know what? Um, he's, he's dead either way. I'm going to get Lapras here to finish this fight. But I want to do a lot of exploring as well. Road to the Falls Lagoon is out that way. So we will check that out. But actually, realistically, I should probably go and heal up my Pokemon that I've nearly killed here. There we go. Look, that's what I should have done from the start. I mean, not that it matters now. So now let's warp away. And wait, let's wait for the XP and everything to go in. There we go. 200. Yeah, there we go. Train level 4. You can now catch level 12 Pokemon, so that's good stuff. So right, let's jump up here. Let's say use the Pokestand. And I've heard this world, the further out you go, the cooler it gets. So, that's what I want to do. I want to do a little bit of venturing out. See what new Pokemon we find. Catch some more. So much stuff to be doing. Actually... I'm glad I've realized this now. I should pop a lucky egg. There we go for some XP gains. And I don't think I need to use the XP share. Alright, let's get out of here. And yeah, I think the Pidgey I'm going to replace with something. I don't know what. I mean, what would be my dream team? I'm thinking back to Pixelmon Island here. What do we have about this way? Amber City. So that's the next city along. Yeah, let's head out this way and explore. I'm not really on my bike. I'm just kind of enjoying, enjoying taking things at a slower pace. Although maybe I should just hop on my bike. You know what, this is already seeming like a while. Let's get my Z bike out. This is epic, yeah. Okay, this makes life easier, definitely. Um, yeah, who would I go for? Hmm, my Pikachu was pretty awesome in the last Pixelmon Island series. Snorlax, I'd love to get a Snorlax, actually. Snorlax did work the last time I did Pokemon-related stuff. Who else did I have that was good? Um, Cloyster was really standout. A Jolteon would be super nice, but you need a Thunderstone for that. Which is not the easier, easiest thing to get. So I may as well, you know, let's go, let's go, let's go see if we can get a kill on this Clefairy. Let's just level up Lapras a bit. I think Lapras is going to be probably one of the more damaging dudes on this. Yeah, he's doing, he's doing a decent little bit. I wonder actually who would kill him. Yeah, no, Lapras got this under control. 
It was actually not long ago that we did that um, Pixel Island series as well. I, I, like I said, I would love to do tournaments using this uh, system. That would be awesome. That would be super, super awesome. Um, and the thing is, I can't leave, can I? Yeah, no, I can't. I've actually been kicked off my back for trying to leave too early. Alright. Um, let's wait till I'm out of the battle. Hop back on my bike. But hey, let's get some XP gains, because I, I need to keep that up as well. I mean, ideally, I want to try and get more levels in this my solo episode than Lachlan's. Ooh, Amber City. This place looks cool. Actually, I should do a big Pokestop run as well. Oh my goodness, there's just people chilling here. I, I almost want to find someone my level and battle them as well. That would be pretty damn cool. Alright, there we go. Ooh, you get trainer XP for uh, picking up Pokestop. So that's something me and Lachlan actually spoke about last... Um, episode and we asked them to add it and they've already added it which is super super cool so little xp gains nice nice so right we're gonna see five pokemon here we've got ponita so actually this is gonna be great leveling for you know what, let's let's get some levels on lapras so this is i've got two good water pokemon do i want to have two water pokemon hmm i wonder now this should be a one hit kill surely let's see oh okay nearly do i want two water pokemon I mean, it helps right now because Lachlan has a fire Pokemon as his starter, so I have two answers for it, which is actually very useful the last time we battled. So we got to keep that in mind. What fire Pokemon do I want to have? You know, I want I want a Growlithe. I want a Growlithe of the right nature. That's what I'm going to look for around here. This guy wants to fight, but I don't really want to fight because I'll feel bad if I just kill him. So, oh wait, this is the new new Poke Center. Let's Vix on two three on YouTube. Alright, let's hit that up, and I'm going to quickly look up um, what nature Growlithe I want, and I'll see if I can find one. Okay, as I suspected, it looks like Adamant is the one to go for, because he be a physical attacking Pokemon. Oh, we got a little cave here. I wonder what spawns in here. And there's a map. Aha, so we are now in that cave. So we travel from there to there to here, and this cave goes out to, I think, maybe the lagoon. I want to see if anything spawns in here. Again, let's get back on the bike. This makes things much easier. Looks very cool in here, but I'm not seeing any Pokemon. And I think the more you level up, actually, the better Pokemon you'll see in these areas and that kind of stuff. So, um, that's worth keeping in mind. Alright, let's go and hunt us a fire Pokemon. Because, yeah, I'm actually lacking in that department right now. So, that's exciting. And what do you know? It's a Growlithe. Okay, sweet. Let's uh, send Squirtle out to weaken this down. I think the Lapras could potentially risk doing too much damage here. Oh, oh, Squirtle got hit heavy there. Crit as well. That was big. Okay, it looks like I'm going to need Lapras to help me out here. Squirtle about to be deaded. Um, let's switch him out for the Lapras. I love it. It's so so clean. And it uses the Minecraft UI. It's cool. This Growlithe is doing work as well. Growlithe is doing work. Okay. Let's drop a water gun. Hopefully that shouldn't kill it. Yeah, I mean, it's got levels on it. It's level 12. That should not kill it. <gasps> Famous last words, aren't they? Famous last words indeed, my friends. Damn it. I'm actually kind of annoyed about that one. I mean, hey, get some levels on the decks. But yes, that is a more embarrassing maneuver. All right, I just got to look for a new one. I wonder if there'll be... So this is the path out of here. Okay, Ponitar. I mean, I may as well just uh, battle with my Lapras. Should be like a two-bang. See, I guess actually, yeah, it's always... this. Yeah, Ponitar's... Is it Ponitar? Ponita. Ponitar is always going to have more, uh, more uh, health than. Uh, I mean, we see that right here. I hope Lapras is okay down there, sitting in the lava. Imagine it turned red; it became like a lava Lapras. Attack fell, but it doesn't matter because we're hitting that special attack. We're going for the kill. Um, I wish you could just run off as soon as the battle's done, but I get that plugin-wise, they've got to do all their stuff. So it would probably make things crash more if you run away. I was like, Vickers here. I might just battle someone random soon. I'd have to find someone of the same level for it to be somewhat fair. The horse struggles on these staircases. Oh. I just feel, why do I feel like I'm going to just KO myself here? I shouldn't be doing this on a uh, horse. Okay. So this is the person who has the gym, level 19, so yeah, I'm not going to battle them. Right, you know what, I'm getting off my bike for this. Oh boy. 
Oh, okay, we made it back. So it looks like I need to actually head back to town so that we can walk back there now. So where is it? It's the fire one. Amber City, here we go. Might as well do a quick pokey heal. And then uh, I'm going to have a little extra hunt for a Growlithe. Aha, here we have a Vulpix. You know, Vulpix could actually be huge. Who remembers the hardest gym in Pixmon Island? There was that Ninetales that was stupidly fast. I mean, this is worth a shot. Let's see. If we can get the right nature Vulpix, please don't one bang it. Just slap press, please don't. Then we could be into business. Come on. Perfection. Perfection right there. Okay. Yeah, I think if we get a fast Ninetales, we could be onto a good thing here. So let's go for it. Let's go for a great ball. We've got a whole squad chilling with us as well. These guys have done well to make it this far at level two. Come on. And hey, this is Pokedex progress. There we go. Uh, we'll drop it. We'll drop a TY. TY in the uh, chat. So now I need to go and I, I wonder if I can check it out in the computer. So if I just do warp straight here because I'm being lazy. And there's a Growlithe as well. So we can check that. Let's go to the PC. And here we go. Volpix boosted special attack dropped attack. I think that is really one of the good ones. Worth considering keeping that. But I think I want a boosted special attack. Or I want timid so it attacks faster. That's what I want to go for. So I might just go into... I mean I mean, I can check it while I battle this dude. Again, he, we should have him at a similar good amount of health. Just don't crit. Okay, that's fine. I think we can we can probably great ball him from here. Um, so we'll wait for that to come up. Alright. Let's bag. Let's go for the great ball. While we do that... Here we go. Best nature for um, Vol Volpix. And we caught this dude, so that's good. Right, let's uh, let's go and check him out in here. Here we go, what nature do we get? We got boosted special defense, drop special attack, so I don't think we want that. It's an option, but it's not what we're looking for. So yeah, again, modest or timid for special um, boost or speed boost respectively. Um, so yeah, both of them being modest would be nice. So this is like a little, this is me putting in the work here. This is me putting in the work. Realistically, I should be, um, I should be like EV training these as well if I'm, you know, going for the right nature. But going for the right nature is like the most simple starting step that you can do. So, you know, it's fine. I really went all out on that stuff in uh, Pixelmon Island and it's crazy the effect that it actually had. Having that spreadsheet up and knowing what to kill and stuff. It was some pretty serious stuff. And I still have actually a rough idea in my head of, um, you know, what na what EVs killing each thing gets. Does that actually show the EVs on them? I haven't even... So, I don't think it does, but I assume it takes it into account. So we got a sassy ability here. So neither of those really want we want. We definitely don't want drop speed. There's no point in having a fast Growlithe if he's going to have drop speed. So... We continue the search. I'm only going to go for a few more of these before I retire this concept. Well, what's it going to be? No one knows. Am I going to get a Vulpix I want to keep first? Or is it a Growlithe? Well, we'll find out in the next few minutes here. Oh my goodness, this guy's a shiny Lapras. Look at that. That's intense and there's another Growlithe there. We got Growlithe for days here, so... Yeah, I don't need to worry about... Um, don't need to worry about that. I, I might battle this guy. I might battle him in a sec. Um, let's just uh, use a Great Ball. This guy's like throwing his Lapras out like, you want a battle? You want a battle? I might go for that last Lapras and then give him a battle here. Um, Alright, let's quickly let's quickly grab this dude. And then we'll give this guy a battle. For sure, for sure. I think, he'll, I think he's going to hang around. I think he's ready for it as well. Or maybe he was... Oh no, he's probably battling the Growlithe that I... Oh, oh, we're living life on the edge here. That I was trying to get, so... That's it, fair enough. But I do want to battle this guy. It's the first person I've seen in my level range. Bag and how do you analyze your Pokemon? Is that how you see that EVs and IVs? I wonder. Cause yeah, that's one thing you want to check. Cause the IVs it has, it just it has when it has. Like if that made any sense? Okay, so I just want to heal up. Oh, that's an epic sound effect. I want to heal this up. Okay, let's see if this guy wants to battle. I'm gonna start off with my Bulbasaur. Um. Oh, here we go. Poke stop. Hey, it's flaming today. I'm going to see if this guy wants to battle. Let's see. Come on, mate. Do you want to battle? He's more interested in trying the staircase. Um. Alright, let's see if he wants to battle. Okay, Jelly, battle. Come on, you know you want to. You know you want to. Or does he not want to? 
I see. Come on, mate. Ooh, take a rail cut to the top of Volcano. I guess you have to pay for that. Let's see. Come on, K-Jelly. Dude. What a battle. <laughs> He's not on it. He's not with it. He is not with it. Oh, well. Another Vulpix to go for. I'll find someone to battle. In fact, it's only level two. I'm just feeling lazy. Like, I wouldn't want to level up to that amount. Um, let's check those two Growlers we just got anyway. Okay, let's see what we got. And cool star. This guy looks decent to battle. So we have Impish Ability, Nope, and Lonely Ability, damn it. Yeah, none of these are really what I'm looking for. Um, wait, where did this guy just go? Where the heck did he go? What was his name? Was it Coolstar or something? Wait, is that him there? Here we go. Coolstar Battle. I'm down, he's got, oh, he's got a level 15 Squirtle. Wait, are these guys really battling each other? I think they are. I think they are. I can't believe this. Oh wait, no, unless they're both, no, they're both battling a Vulpix, I think. Um, okay, here we go. You know, I'm just gonna throw down my Pokemon, see who challenges me. But not the level 23. Let's see, Cool Star, oh yes, Cool Star's on it. Here we go. All right, I don't even know what we're up against, but let's go for a Vine Whip. Oh no, has he got a Growlithe? Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, I didn't realize that was the case. How much is that gonna do? Not much. Yeah, okay. Um, so I will switch out to, I think probably Lapras is gonna be the best call here. So switch out. All right, here we go. I wish I had one of my Growlers in my squad. Okay, he's, uh, he's gone for an Ember, which has done basically nothing. This, I think this can do a lot. Yes, there we go, Growlithe out of the way. Oh, I have no idea what this guy could have. I love this. The random element of battling. You just never know what you're up against. It's pretty darn cool. Okay, what you got? What you got next, cool star? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do next? Alright, he sent out a Pidgey. Okay. Easy one-shot ice shot, I reckon. Oh my goodness. People coming in with the big boy Pokemon back here. Yeah, easy KO. Come on, you gotta have something better than that, cool star. You must do. He, what? He's going to have something good in there. I, can, I just feel it. I feel it. I feel it indeed. Although things are getting a little crowded here. So I'm going to have to vanish and run off. Okay, I star you. You know what? Should we go for the troll strat? Here we go. Oh, laugh press is going to be the most annoying. The most annoying of all time. Oh. I mean, I really don't need to, I don't need to worry about the tackles. You know, maybe I should just go in for the kill, honestly. Um, is Ice Shard going to do a decent match? It does a decent bit. It's not very effective, but neither would Water Gun be. I think we have a good match up here, though. Maybe a crit? I mean, let's see. Let's compare the difference. I'm in a safe position to do so. Yeah, they do literally the same, just as I had suspected. Okay. I'm wondering what this guy could have, because he must... Like, to have got to that level, he must have killed a decent amount of stuff, you know? Actually, no, maybe he just caught stuff. I don't know. Does he have an answer for Lapras? This is like some easy power leveling, to be honest. If I can find people that I can KO in battles. In before, pulls out Pikachu and just goes zip. And rips me to shreds. Come on. It's like Vic Storm 2 3 against Cool Star 4 1 6. I don't know whose number. Oh, here we go. Here's a big hitter. <sighs> okay, this is, this is important to get this sleep in. And he's faster. Come on. Hmm. Yeah, okay, it doesn't hurt too much. Let's give it one more shot. If this doesn't work, I'm going to confuse Ray. Come on. This is key. Yes, there we go. Major key, major key. All right. All righty, righty. Okay, now I think who's going to be able to do some good damage here? Um, What is it again? I forgot, mm, but I think Bulbasaur's the one. Oh, Squirtle, yes, Bulbasaur's the one. Well, we're supposed to want to go. I'm glad I switched him out early. Didn't let him get killed. All right. Yeah, Vine Whip's going to be nice. Oh, he's withdrawn. What's he going to What's he gonna bring out? Volpix. Oh! It's only level six, though. He's got the Fire Pokies on lock, though. Okay, who do we switch to to answer to the Volpix? To be fair, if I switch to my Squirtle, that can also answer to his Squirtle, because it can tackle. And, look, this is going to tank the hit. Easily. Easily. No, I think I go for a tackle here, because I think he's going to switch out. Let's see if he does. 
Oh wow, he didn't actually. Okay, I should have just water gun. I would have had the kill. But this is this is this is. I'm covering my options here. A lot of people like sometimes in like decision-based, turn-based games like that. They're like, "Why did you use tackle?" Like it wasn't effective. I didn't know if he was going to switch out or not. It's very easy to say. Like I knew as soon as I did the tackle that it was the wrong thing to do. Very easy to know that after it's happened. But in the time, it was just as likely that he would switch out to something else as he would keep the Vulpix out. So. You got you to keep that mindset. Okay, I think I got this battle under control now. Let's just go for the tackle one hitter. I think he's going to bring back the Squirtle and I should have it under control. So he power leveled his Squirtle. But I put it to sleep. And that is what put me in a strong position here. I think he's got to bring out his Squirtle now. So I've pulled it off. Cool star ain't all that. Because I have a more even squad and my Lapras does work. To be fair, even saying that, killing this Squirtle is not going to be easy. Yeah, it's not going to be easy at all. Actually, I need to use my Bulbasaur. Watch it wake up and KO my Bulbasaur now. Please don't. Come on, Bulba. Bulba. Oh, come on, take the hit. Yes, okay, here we go. We get what I think. Actually, I hope we get one Vine Whip in. We need this to hit. Damn it. Hmm, how am I going to kill this Squirtle quickly? I could actually be in a spot of trouble here. Maybe I go for the Confuse Ray, actually. Maybe that's what I go for here. I don't know. Yeah, realistically, I have to. Let's go for the Confuse Ray and hope the Squirtle helps me kill the Squirtle. Alright, let's do it. Here we go. Come on, Confuse Ray. Yes. Okay. You know what? Confusion lasts ages, actually. Come on. Yes, hurt itself. Alright, now we're working. We're working a shift here. I think probably Ice Shard will do. It'll be the same, I reckon. We'll compare there. I don't, yeah, I don't think. Okay, I used Bubble. I think I got this, this fight under control now. This has been a battle and a half, you know. See what that does. Yeah, it does about the same. Maybe, maybe I'll just bring in Pidgey for some uh, final damage. Or I just keep ice sharding. Nah, two more of these crit, come on. Actually, if it has some confusion as well, we're fine, come on. Confused. And, uh, yeah, it hurt itself, and then boom. Alright, I think that's it. I think I've taken him out. So there we go. A wager system would be super cool. I don't think that's implemented yet. Not that much XP to stop you kind of power boosting against each other. But, um... Alright, GG, sir. <laughs> and everyone's like, GG in the chat. Uh, uh, catch you guys. So, the thing is, we've done this vanish and everything. Vanish mode disabled. Oh, wait. Vanish mode enabled. Oh, okay. So, people could just see my Pokemon, I think, there. They couldn't actually see me, um, interestingly enough. So, that's probably why the guy was running away, actually. that It all makes sense now. Alright, let's get back on my Growlithe mission. Here we go. Come on. We're going to get one of these sooner or later. And at level 12, it's a nice point to get it at, so. See, I feel like you can see me. Maybe they just see my Pokemon. I have no idea. Alright, anyway, let's, uh, let's, <laughs> let's catch a few of these. I don't know, do people see me? They see through my disguise. Alrighty. Come on, here we go. What it going to be? And, oh yeah, I've, I've got it. Let's, uh, slash warp. How lazy can a guy be? Oh, there's Vulpix level 9. If this isn't the one I need, then I'll go and hit it up. Okay, can I boot up the PC while things heal? Come on. Adamant. There we go, yeah, boosted attack. Um, that is what I'm looking for. There we go. And drop special attack. Because I'm going to have loads of uh, heavy attacking attack. Who do I replace here? I think... Lickitung, probably the least likely to be used, level 6, this guy's level 8, Clefairy's level 6 as well. Cool, okay, so we've added a new Pokemon to the squad, we've won a battle, we've found a new city and explored it, and uh, we're nearly at trainer level 5 here. I think I actually may, to be fair, this guy, this girl is at level 12 as it is, so what moves does it have? Tackle, Sand Attack, um, so yeah, I need to, oh, and it's Ability, um, Keen Eye, I don't know what that actually is. Um, being honest with you, I might get a, do I need to level anything up some more? And I've got the fire Pokemon I came here to get. You know, no, I think this is a good point to wrap up 
right here. Yeah, I think this is fine place to wrap up. So that is it for this episode. I'll uh, probably be collabing with uh, one of the other guys for my next one. Maybe do like a lucky egg battle or just do some more training and battling. Something along those lines. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, leave a like, all that good stuff. You can check out the server down below. I'll see you all next time. Thanks and goodbye.